With more aggressive rock and metal vocalists, you may find that you need to use the note assignment mode to clean up the analysis of the vocal first before tuning the vocal. Here I have a pretty raspy vocalist and you'll see that the notes are jumping around between two different octaves, even though he's not singing it that way. Take back what you said. Take a look at the mirror. There's nothing left. Nothing left to hide anymore. Take nothing more or less than what you have given. My mind is soaring high, staring at the stars. We will rise. First, I'm going to solo out just the lead vocal, though, and I want to go through with note assignment mode and correct the assignment of some of these notes. So the more gritty, the more raspy the vocalist is, the more complex their harmonic series is going to be. With singers like this, Melodyne doesn't always get the analysis perfect, so note assignment mode is really helpful for correcting these analysis problems. So you'll see when I pull up note assignment mode, you'll see these little empty blobs here. And what these do is they, they allow you to double click and move the analysis of a note up or down. Take back what you've said. Now here you can see the vast majority of the melody is in this lower octave, but some of these notes have jumped up an octave. However, you'll see that there's no open blobs down here for these to go to. So you can actually just grab a note and manually drag it down. And you'll see these little markers that sort of tell you where the best position for that note is going to be. I'm going to double click here to pull this one down. I'll pull this down and I'll pull both of these down as well. So generally what I'm doing is I'm assuming that the analysis has pushed some of these up to the second harmonic or the first overtone. And that's why I'm moving most of these down an octave. Now, one really important thing to remember here is that changing the note assignment just corrects the analysis. It will not change the audible pitch of the note when I go back to edit mode. So if you reassign a note and you notice that it loses its pitch curve line, that means that it's lost all of its pitch information. So sometimes you just have to live with it and just tune the note as is. You can actually just tune all of the notes as is if, you, if you're able to sort of remember that these are all in different octaves. Um, but I like to correct as many of the notes as I can. And sometimes you'll get passages like this where there's a lot of uh, options in the upper octave, and so I'll select that octave instead. Sometimes you'll see that the pitch curve here jumps between two different octaves. You could try separating the note in note assignment mode, and it may help better uh, place that note, but sometimes that can actually create other issues. Then what you have given. Here it seems like it'll be fine though. Yeah, here's another note where if I pull it up, it's actually getting rid of the pitch curve completely. So we won't be able to even tune that note if I correct the octave there. Um, so I can do a couple things. I can either just try to tune all of these down instead, um, but that's going to affect that note there. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Um, I may pull this one down, but otherwise I'll just live with it. So again, you kind of have to pick and choose your battles. Um, it can be kind of a, a tedious and complex uh, process, but it is what it is. You know, you kind of work around uh, the material you're given. The more clean toned the singer is, the less complex their harmonic series will be, and therefore their analysis will generally be more accurate. So in those situations, you may not have to go through note assignment mode at all. All right, so now that I've corrected as many of the note assignments as I can, I'm gonna go back to edit mode, and in the next video, I'll tune up this vocal.